Hey guys, come on, Lurker here, and welcome to Let's Play Choice of the Dragon, one of the series of games by Choice of Games. All Choice of Games games are pure text, make them terrible things to Let's Play, but maybe, if I read this with a half confidence, it'll actually be somewhat entertaining. Anyway, as the text says, let us begin. A knight charges up the slope at us. His horse pounds at the ground, carrying the heavily armored warrior, as if he were a child's doll. The knight sets his lance to attack us. How do we defend ourselves? Well, we're a dragon, so probably any of these options, in fact, definitely any of these options, are going to result in us winning. Uh, but before we choose any of those options, let's look at our stats. This is the stats button, by the way. Uh, here are uh, bunches of stats. I'll explain this stuff to you. These first three bars represent opposite stats. Uh, brutality is the opposite of finesse. Cunning, opposite of honor. Makes sense. You're very honorable. You're not very intelligent. Uh, this means that you can't have a brutality of... Uh, 100 without having a finesse of all the way to zero. Uh, you can't have a brutality of 27 without having a finesse of whatever 100 minus 27 is. Right now we have 50 brutality, 50 finesse, etc, 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 etc. Infamy, we have uh, 50. We're not very famous, we're not very infamous. Actually, you can never be famous. I think you're just neutral. Maybe you're famous. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, you also have, We also have money because we're a dragon and we love money. Uh, and we are uninjured. It doesn't start from the beginning, but that's not very useful because we're already at the beginning. Uh, so what option should we take? Uh, this option doesn't make sense to me at all. If we slap him with our tail, maybe he cuts it off or something. That, 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 that bothers me. But we could choose. It doesn't particularly matter. All these options can result in us winning. So let's just fly into the air. Uh, depending on what option we choose, it'll actually, uh, change what stat will increase. So if we choose this option, you'll see. Take to the air. Our dragon now has... Higher finesse slash lower brutality. Uh, so let's see. We leap to the air, deftly avoiding the knight's thrust. Now that we are in the air, he hardly poses any threat at all. Not that he ever could to one such as ourself. You circle. We circle back and knock him off his horse with a swipe of our claw. So should we finish him off? How dare he attack us? Of course we're gonna finish him. Wait, no, no. We can't do that because that will result in our brutality increasing. And we need to specialize. It's not a good idea to have 50 of one, 50 of the other. Much better if you just go with one. Because as with all choice of games games, uh, choose different options may result in different outcomes depending on what your stats are. And most of the time, you, ha you have uh, plenty of stats that you can choose to test during these various options. So, like, uh, this option might test Brutality, while this one tests Finesse. So you may as well just all, always go with one type of thing with this kind of game, with, with Choice of the Dragon. Other games are different and much more interesting. Uh, I'll hopefully go over that later. Um, but this is a good start, which is why I chose this one first. So, I say instead, actually, that we just let them go. This will actually increase our Disdain. Actually, no. I, I think that'll actually make it harder for something future in the game. We let let's increase our all three of these options actually gonna make it harder. Uh, but I'll I'll accept this. Be gone, petty human. To attack me is to meet your doom. You growl. The knight stumbles away as quickly as he can, not even daring to pretend that he could still fight you. You laugh at him as he runs. You know it's going to get annoying to keep calling. You. Oh, the narrator's telling us. Got to get a name. Call yourself. Gorthalon, call ourselves Sethethris, call ourselves Calumver. Actually, I actually spit on the screen while well, saying name. Whatever. Oh, we could name ourselves. These names are terrible. Uh, that's a good name. No. It's a, it's saying we could choose any name we want. So let's call ourselves Carrot Head. Yay! Get it? It's a, it's a joke. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, that's a stupid thing. We're gonna call ourselves, uh, Jim. Yes, Jim the Dragon. Uh, will be male or female? Well, Jim is actually a male name. But let's be mysterious. Let's not go with any known gender. As you think about it, though, as we think about it, the knight's attack was probably inevitable. After all, we did just kidnap a princess. Although, isn't it sexist to kidnap a princess? Well, we can be all traditional. And just say, that's what all dragons do. We ought to be traditional. Uh, we can yell at the narrator for daring to defy us. Or question us, whatever. 
define question same difference ah uh, we can say uh we can have the prince because we're not sexist well we can say we carefully plan it just to avoid it and i think that's the most ridiculous answer so i think i'm going to choose that meaning princess time princess blah 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 uh it doesn't actually matter which one we choose at all this is one of those fake choice things for guys who actually want i'm not going to go into detail about making choice games games but you can make them um of course i'm sorry for questioning you Anyway, as you rip the roof off the tower, the light glistened off. Uh-oh. We need to have a color of our hide, or else this sentence can't be finished. Uh, so, game's now asking us to decide on the color of our hide. And, uh, I don't know what an iridescent hide would look like, so let's choose it. Why not? Wonderful choice. So, the light glistened off your iridescent hide as you snatched the princess out of her tower. While you were on the subject, let's settle a few other details. How many limbs do you have, not counting your wings or tail? A tail counts as a limb? Anyway, let's get eight, because more is better with everything. Uh, actually, this again will not matter at all. Uh, these, these, these things with the princess don't matter. Uh, or prince, if you choose that. It'll actually change all the text to say prince, if you choose it. Um, and what do we have? A nice rigid body or a smooth one? Well, I say rigid actually shows age and uh, experience, while smooth uh, shows more youth. So I, I would go for the rigid. We want to seem like a very wise dragon, uh, even though it technically doesn't matter which one we choose. This is just role playing. Um, so we're very rough and want to be leathery or scaly. Uh, I, I, I don't want to be leathery. Let's be scaly. Ah, uh, that sounds good. Oh, that's our wings only. Whatever, we have scaly wings now. Uh, as you kidnapped the princess, you beat your scaly iridescent wings and flew off into the night as she clutched tightly to your rigid scalp to avoid plummeting to her doom. What are you planning on doing with this princess anyway? So, we could say we want some companionship. Uh, we're using her for our evil plan to get knights. Or it's all about getting monies. Uh, again, I don't think this matters. Uh, but we're, we're, let's be about the money because we are a dragon and dragons are about the monies. Uh, by the way, this is the last you'll see of any of these special details about what we look like. I don't even think we ever see anything about our arms. Doesn't particularly matter. So, within a month, a large chest of gold comes to pay for the princess's release. What do you do then? Uh, we can be honorable and uh, go through with our bargain, or we could just eat her. Uh, well, to be honest, business is better when you're honorable to a degree. You want people to trust that giving that money is not going to be a waste, at least until the next month when you recapture the princess, the same princess. Uh, so let's, let's be honorable here and just carry our end of the bargain. I actually never done this thing so i don't know if that'll actually affect our honor so no sooner have you received the payment than you let the princess go only to be kidnapped next month oh is this the time of the month no the other time of the month ah i made a a, a joke yeah. uh this would be a good time to talk a little more about your personality all dragons can be described in terms of a handful of characteristics each in opposite pairs. This is them explaining blah blah blah. I already did that game. I beat you to the punch. Are you more notable for your brutality or your finesse? We are a finesse character. Uh, do you have more cunning or honor? Uh, let's look at this guy. We have more cunning or honor. Looks like we have more honor. Great. Let's go with honor. Actually, I wanted to go with cunning, but we already are being honorable. Let's just stick with it. Uh, we are the honorable sort of dragon. Uh, do you disdain threats and insult and insults that are beneath you? Or are you vigilant against any slight transgression? Uh, vigilance will pay us in the long run in a particular area. So let's stick with vigilance. Now we're going to view some flashbacks to your days as a, as a wither milling. As a young hatchling, you lived with your mother in a cave high on a mountain. Your mother had a vast hoard of treasure that you wanted to steal, and a varied hunting range. Some of your siblings chose to spend much of their time reading the rare co co codices 
and scrolls your mother had collected. Other siblings spent their time hunting. What do we do? Well, let's say we read. Why not? I, I actually don't know what this will increase. What, what, what can it increase? Oh, it's going to decrease honor. No. But this is going to increase our brutality. I don't, I, I don't like you, game. Okay, let, let, let's just stick with hunting. Ah, uh, you develop your muscles. What? Oh, never mind. Uh, killed in the end. Your brawls with your siblings also taught you the basics of honor. As you reached matur maturity, you began to threaten your mother's dominance over her territory. Finally, gotta get that m our mother out of our house. Uh, before you could possibly have bested her in a direct confrontation, she threw us out. Oh no! Now we're all familyless and sad. <laughs> At least we have our teddy bear, our, our dragon teddy bear. Uh, anyway, at least we have our claws, wings, and teeth, or whatever. So are we going to seek revenge against her? Or is revenge beneath our dignity? I think revenge is beneath... It's, it's not even a matter of that. We're, we're, a, we're, we're, we're a little dragon trying to fight a big dragon. It's not a good idea. Uh, stain is for petty matters. Well, disdain for petty matters is essential for a dragon, as it avoids the pointless feuds that weaken you and allow your enemies to achieve great goals. Manipulating peasants is also not the most honorable of activities for a mighty dragon such as yourself. Oh, did, did I choose to make peasants do something? Whatever. Your wise choice increases disdain and honor. Wait, what? After several days of flight, you came across a tiny halfling traveling through the desert, even from afar. Your keen eyes detected the glint of gold and the sparkle of magic. This halfling has some sort of magic golden shield strapped to his tiny back. You immediately knew that this treasure must be yours. Yes, we must have this treasure, the precious. Uh, the halfling... Whoa, 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 too much. The halfling was far from civilization, but almost surely die of thirst and starvation. For the moment, he seemed to be protected by the power of the shield. Did you kill him on the spot, ignoring his magical protections, or did you hover nearby and wait for the halfling to die, knowing that you might l lose the treasure? Well, I don't want to be the reason why he doesn't starve to death. I don't want the shield to kill us and result in him eating us instead of the other way around. Uh, that won't happen, though. The, the game is nice enough at this point to not kill us, especially considering this is the flashback. How could we die in a flashback? Uh, but let's wait. That will increase our finesse. Or should we go the other way? Uh, yeah, we, we want more finesse-liness. We're going to be using that before we're actually using our uh, vigilance. So let's wait for him to die. We're going to lose some of our vigilance, which we want, but oh well. There's no reason for us to do all the dirty work. A few hours later, the halfling stumbled, crawled for a while, and finally stopped forever. You easily plucked the treasure off his body, saving yourself quite a bit of work. Once a... and... let's see. Uh-oh, one of our elder clutch mates. Excel miss! Seems to always love and... Uh, seems to always torment us. He, he's a big jerk hole. Jim, he says with a menacing grin, give me that golden shield, or I will beat you with an inch of your life. Ah, uh, should we give Axel Miss, the guy with the weird voice, should we 